hello friends and today we discuss about the previous year questions so here the first question is uh, it's a triad of um, congenital toxoplasmosis is all except so first it is an intracerebral or cerebral renal calcification hydrocephalus convulsion and the chorioretinitis okay so so what is an answer here is it is in convulsion you always remember there is a triad for congenital toxoplasmosis that is in calcification and hydrocephalus and chorioretinitis so i think uh, we discussed uh, in the previous uh, uh, session that uh, pregnant lady came with the uh, uh, what is the cervical lymphadenopathy because of that the baby developed an intracranial calcification okay so these are some of the histories and i am sure these are the points will be given for the examination so here the answer is unconvulsion and the what are the triads is uh, what is that uh, chorioretinitis hydrocephalus and the cerebral calcification okay so coming for the next question is so vibrio cholerae differs from e coli by so first it is an oxidase test catalyst test and optokin sensitive and lactose fermenter so here the answer is oxidase test okay so always remember vibrio cholerae is an oxidase positive and it is an E. coli is oxidase negative. I know you uh, remember a mnemonic call for Vibrio cholera. It is in coins. Coins is positive. That is C for catalase test, oxidase test, and I for indole and N for nitrate reduction and S for strain test. Okay. So these are all positive for the Vibrio cholera and you can remember this. So here the Vibrio cholera can ferment the lactose but it is in but the um, the lactose will be fermented after four, 12, uh, 48 hours. Okay, so it is so called as a late lactose fermenter. So that's a point you won't remember here. And so, Vibrio it is also called as a late lactose fermenter. So, we will see some of the tests. What is an optokin test? It is mainly for the uh, it is for the streptococcus, right? Uh, that is in bile, so bile solubility, inulin, and the optokin. Uh, sensitive so these three are sensitive for the streptococcus pneumoniae whereas it is resistant for the viridans so uh, just for the fresh up i'm saying this point that is in bile solubility and inulin and optokin okay these three are differentiating features for the streptococcus pneumoniae and the viridans and these three are sensitive for the uh, pneumoniae whereas resistant for the uh, viridans okay so coming for next question so a person had infection due to gram positive organism which is treated with methicillin and then the culture sensitivity shows resistance to it and hence all can be given so always remember if the culture is given and it is resistance to methicillin it is called as a methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus that too I think here they have given a broad term that is a gram positive organism so it is an always it is in Staphylococcus aureus so uh, what what all can be given except option right so first it is in Cotrimoxazole, Cephocler, Vancomycin and Ciprofloxacin so here the answer is B okay because the MRSS strains are usually resistant to all the beta lactam antibiotic so here it is a beta lactam antibiotic is a cephaclet so we cannot give that and rest are all we can give and some point about MRSA it is because of the there will be an alteration of a penicillin binding protein because of that only there will be an uh, the strains becomes resistant to uh, at the skin drug okay So uh, there is another point I think we discussed in last session. So methicillin and oxazolin uh, can be used but which is the most commonly used it is in cefoxetin because it is a stable drug it is used for reducting the this methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus. So if they have given uh, which drug we will be using to find out this MRSA. So the main option it is an 
cefoxetin okay so coming for next point so budding is seen with so cryptococcus and candida candida and rhizopus and rhizopus and mucor and candida and aspergillus um but this was a question uh, this not a thing because you can say right so here the budding can be seen in candida here also candida but you want to look for both the option okay when you are looking for both the option it is present in the cryptococcus and the candida so the answer is that and it is an cryptococcus it is an yeast and it reproduces by budding and candida is a yeast like fungus and again it reproduces by budding so always remember if there is a given the candida i told under term that is called as an it is a gram positive budding in cell with pseudo hyphae and this is a main term which is usually given for the candida uh, i think you will remember all this i have uh, mentioned this point in my uh, previous session that is a mycology triggers and so this is a clue okay so it will come up for some words like budding or pseudo hyphae or germ tube test so there are some key uh, key points for all the organism and that you want to know that's the main thing you want to focus here and also the last question is see all are true about hydatid cyst except and this is uh, something it's a previous question was asked in tnpg and it was also asked in uh, in the all india exams also okay so uh, but these options are straight for tng and in all india the options were somewhat uh, just twisted so here all are true about hydrated cyst except dog is a definitely host and man is an intermediate host and liver is the most common sort of infection the head is labile at extremes of temperature so this is easy questions i think i think because every point is you know dog is a definitely host man is an intermediate host yes liver is the most common site of infection for hydrated cyst and there's another test you want to remember here it is in cassoni test and some other point is so water release sign it is usually seen in the uh, uc okay um, so here the uh, it is not labile at extremes of temperature okay so it can be uh, it can remain viable or it can remain stable even at damps and or in the uh, temperatures too that it can remain viable in water and damp sand for three weeks at 30 degrees celsius and 225 days at 6 degrees celsius and 32 days at 10 to 21 degrees celsius i think i uh, i have given just only for the reference so just remember you don't need to remember this temperature this day is that and all uh, this is a point good point because the egg is stable at extremes of temperature okay just remember that i'm sure they won't give any temperature or the days so just for completion's sake and you wanted to know i have posted here and you want to remember only the egg is stable at the extremes of temperature that point is enough if you uh, are able to recall okay so thank you friends